Yo, blessings to everybody out there. To all my kings and queens. Um, just real quick, I just want to just get my thoughts, you know. Um, I don't mean to offend nobody, you know. Please don't take it personal. You know, this is just my testimony and my story. As I said before, you know, I hope that my story inspires you, not offends you. Um, man, I used to... Uh, I used to really feel some type of way about church people and uh, church folk, as I call them, who are self-centered and judgmental. <clears throat> I have friends and people who, you know, they'd be like, you know, I don't want to go to church. Uh, I've had this happen. I've had church hurt. And you know what puzzles me the most <clears throat> is people who go to church every day, they claim to live the life of Jesus, of Yahweh. And they claim to be a Christian. They claim to be a man, a woman of God. But be, what would be the first person to hurt you, be the first person to persecute you? I just, uh, when I was going through a dark place in my life, I was so frustrated. And I did not understand because I knew that God was real, but I couldn't see him through the church. See what I'm saying? Um, I, knew, I knew that God was real, but I didn't feel the love of God from the church. You know what I'm saying? And so when I say the church, I don't mean, you know, uh, the church that you go to or different people like that. I mean church folk. You know what I'm saying? People who go to church every day. People who profess to be, you know, a woman or a man of God. And so, listen, I went through some dark places in my life. And when I went through that, it was the people who I thought would love me the most. Leave me for dead. You know, I'm talking about the people who were supposed to pray for me. Who were supposed to hug me and, and, and hold my hand and, and tell me, you know, that everything is going to be all right. And give me a word from God, but they couldn't give it to me. I find it so ironic that the same people who tarry and call on Jesus, the same people who work, who, who go to Sunday school and, and go to church on Sunday, be the same people that'll talk about you behind your back. I'm talking about the people who post to love you. He said, love and kindness have I drawn thee. But you a demon. You see what I'm saying? I was told, listen, you a demon. Listen, uh, those, those are spirits talking. But listen, don't you supposed to be able to speak to that and tell it to move? But listen, these same people couldn't do it for me. And so I understand if you have had church hurt, I understand if, if you've had people to do you wrong, the people that you least expect, the people that's supposed to pray for you and, and get, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 my hurt that I went through as a child. And this pastor threw me a couple dollars. She threw me probably like $40 and said, just leave. Until this day, she don't know if I'm alive, if I'm well, how I made it, how I survived, how I bounced back. I'm talking about church folk, y'all. Excuse me if it ain't you. But listen to me. And so I said, God, well, you, well, this can't be real. So I understand. When people be like, listen, this can't be real, man. This is, this is not of God. You know what I'm saying? I understand. You get what I'm saying? And, and, and listen, and, and, and I don't hate against people, you know what I'm saying, who choose not to, man. Rather watch it on TV or watch it on Facebook. Hey, I understand. And listen to me. I went through something else, and I, I had something traumatic happen. I almost lost my mind. And they kicked me out of the church. You know what I'm saying? They didn't pray for me. They didn't, they didn't check on me and say, well, listen, you know, try to help me through it, try to see me through it. It was none of that. Listen, some of the, oh my God, some of the most judgmental people, man, are in the church. And it's a shame before God because y'all are scandalizing who God really is. Because Jesus Christ was among the people that nobody wanted to be around. In today's layman terms, nobody want to be around a stripper. I used to strip. You know what I'm saying? Nobody want to be around somebody who's selling dope. Who's selling drugs, who's doing different things, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we can't hang around that. Oh, I can't, hang, I can't be with them type of people. You know what I'm saying? I understand you ain't got to indulge or do what they do, but where you love at? I'm talking about God is omnipotent. If, if God could love me as a wretch undone, whoo, shout out y'all about so call your boy, see y'all. See, I found God outside of the church. I found God where nobody would love me. I found God when nobody would care, care for me. I, I, I found God when people judged me and talked about me like a dog. I found God when I was sleeping outside on the street and my mama wouldn't come get me. I, 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 listen, I found God when they were sending text messages, pray for Misha, but nobody came to pray for me. See, I didn't find God on my knees. I found, listen, I found God in my darkest hour. I, listen, I found God when nobody was here for me. You hear what I say? I say, I found God when I couldn't see my way. I found God when friends left me, when the coaches lied on me. I, I, I found God. You hear what I say? So I understand. Listen, don't get frustrated with people who claim to know God. Listen, you got to see how do they love you. You want to know somebody really with God? Look at how they treat you. Look at how they treat people. 
You hear what I say? Listen, my uncle used to be strung out, and he was an alcoholic. You know what I'm saying? He would drink every day. But you know what? I didn't care. I would go to the hood. I would go to the store. I would buy him what he want and get him some food and show him love. Because who am I to judge somebody? Huh? Listen, we all have fell, fallen short of the glory of God. Who are we to put people in a position to not receive love from God? We are living vessels from God. We ought to be able to love people who are not like us. Because just, just maybe if you love this person, they just might believe there's a God. But too many. They start doing drugs and yeah, y'all y'all talk about them. Feel what I'm saying? Y'all don't go see. Well, let me sit down and talk with her and see. You know what I'm saying? Well, how she feel? Well, what she going through? Because things happen that make people get into certain situations. Let me tell you something. Not in a million years. I'm telling y'all something. I was raised with my mama and my father. And listen, we weren't rich, but we weren't broke either. You hear me? Not in a million years would I have thought I would have lived the life I live. Not in a million years I would have thought I had a sugar daddy. Not 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 me. Jamisha Nicole McCray? No way. I wouldn't live like that. No way. I have a mother and father at home. You hear what I'm saying? But I didn't take that role. You hear what I say? Hey, I, I never would have thought that, man. But you never know what will happen. But you know what everybody seen? Everybody seen me being gay. Everybody seen me loving women and talking to women and cutting my hair off. But they didn't see that I had sex with nine family members. They didn't see that I was destroyed as a little girl. They didn't see out of 365 days, I had to think of days I ain't have sex. You hear what I say? I was stripped. As they say, butt naked, the devil stripped me. I'm talking about I should have been pregnant. I ain't going to tell the story yet, though. But, hey, listen, to be continued. But listen to me. I'm still standing. And listen, to those people who has been hurt by church people, I am from the bottom of my heart. I am so sorry. But that is not God. Listen, you got to learn how to don't put people in the box with God, okay? Because cause what they do ain't God. But let me tell you something. You reap what you sow. So you don't do right by people. I don't give a dog on what state they're in right now. God still has the power to deliver. God has the power to set that person free. You can go from the pit to the palace. Good God from glory. You hear what I say? And you have all the power to do it. Huh? Let me tell you something. All right, listen, I go to church now, but listen to me. It took me to go through some dark, dark places. You hear what I say? My pastor knew me before I said I wanted to give my life to Christ. You see what I'm saying? Took me to them and him, him and his wife. You feel what I'm saying? So it, it, you have to show that agape love. It made me trust the church again. You see what I'm saying? But you got to get around some real people who are going to love you through some serious situations, man. You understand? Find you some real people. And don't be discouraged. The church talked about you and they treat you some type of way. Listen. I understand. I love you today, man. I want you to know you are loved by, listen, you are loved by a God who loves you. I'm talking about he's so mm, 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 in love with you. You hear what I say? I'm so glad because I've been in so many places. I've lost so many things. And friends don't talk to me no more. They say, oh, well, I heard this. and This ain't what I heard. And they don't even know my story. You see what I'm saying? But that's okay. Because what God has for me, baby, it is for me. If they don't call me, they don't see about me, baby, I'm good. Because I serve a God that looks hot and, and listen, and looks low. From glory, who takes care of Jamisha Nicole McCray. You hear what I say? I'm grateful today. I just want to give you that word today, and I hope that it encourages you. I hope that it hits your heart today, man. That listen to me. You are loved. You are loved by a real and true God. Good God from glory. Blessings to y'all.